Hello. The topic of this video is stoichiometry. As the word stoichiometry suggests, it feels as if it's a very complex subject, but it's actually very simple. Stoichion means element and metri means measurement. It's basically a method in which we use balanced chemical equations to calculate the amount of reactants and products that are required or may be produced in a chemical reaction. In the previous video, we did how to balance chemical equations. So once you have the required balanced chemical equation, you can use it to calculate the amount of product that could be produced or the amount of reactant that would be required to obtain a desired amount of product. Let's see what does a balanced chemical equation tell us and how do we use it in uh, stoichiometry. A balanced chemical equation on the left hand side you have the reactants. I have taken this one example. Methane and oxygen combine to form carbon dioxide and water. The reactants are also gases and the products are also gases here. So we have gaseous reactants and gaseous products. Normally, a chemical equation also tells you the conditions of a reaction, but in stoichiometry, we are mainly concerned about the masses or the number of moles, we, the calculations of the amounts of reactants and products, because stoichion means elements, basically the reactants and the products and their measurements. So, uh, stoichiometric, when you look at a balanced chemical equation, you have these numbers before every formula of the reactant or product. This number is known as the stoichiometric coefficient and it, is, it tells you the number of molecules. If you consider this equation to be molecules, for example, one molecule of methane would combine with the two is the stoichiometric coefficient which tells it has two molecules of oxygen to produce one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. So, uh, if you assume these not to be molecules but moles, then we would say that one mole of methane combines with two moles of oxygen to produce one mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water. So, let me tell you one more thing. When we discussed the mole concept, I told you a mole is a quantity which represents 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules or particles of that substance. They could be atoms uh, if it is uh, if we are talking of an element. So uh, one mole is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. One mole of methane would be 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of methane. If methane, uh, it also represents the molar mass. That is, methane has a mass of carbon, has a mass of 12, and hydrogen has a mass of 1, and there are 4 hydrogens. So the mass of methane would be 12 plus 4, which is 16. So if you 16, the molecular mass is 16 U, but the molar mass would be, if you write the same mass in grams, then it would be 16 grams of methane is known as the molar mass. So which means that 16 grams of methane would produce, uh, would contain 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 uh, particles or molecules of uh, methane in one mole. Also, if the substance is a gas, then there is a relation of volume also to the uh, to the number of moles. At standard temperature pressure conditions, one mole of any gas consists um, it occupies 22.4 liters of space. At standard temperature and pressure conditions, one mole of any gas occupies 22.4 liters of space. So we can say if this is one mole, it means 22.4 liters at STP if the reaction is taking place, then 22.4 liters of methane would produce 22.4 into 2 would be 44.8 liters of oxygen which uh, would react with 44.8 uh, liters of oxygen to produce 22.4 liters of carbon dioxide and 44.8 uh, liters of water. Now let us see what, uh, let us take this problem and solve uh, two questions um, using stoichiometry. The question is you have to calculate the amount of water produced by the combustion of 16 grams of methane. I told you we just now calculated the molar mass of methane. Carbon has a mass of 12 and hydrogen has a mass of 1 and there are 4 hydrogens. So what would be the mass of methane? 12 plus 1 into 4 which is equal to 16. 16 and molar mass for 1 mole would be grams. 
the molecular mass is 16 u but for one mole it will be 16 grams so we already have 16 grams according to this balanced chemical equation so what is our question that calculate the amount of water produced by combustion of 16 grams of methane according to this balanced chemical equation when you have one mole of methane how many moles of water is produced two moles so in other words we have when you have one mole uh, the stoichiometry is for one for 16 grams of methane two moles of water would be produced or if you calculate the mass of water what is the mass of water 16 is the mass of oxygen and 1 1 hydrogen is 18 so 18 twos are 36 so we could say 16 grams of methane produces two moles is how much 36 grams of water right so this is how we can calculate the uh, molar masses uh, and this is how we use stoichiometry let us come to the next problem now how many moles of methane are required to produce 22 grams of carbon dioxide after combustion now this is a little more complicated we have been let us calculate the molar mass of carbon dioxide now carbon has a mass of 12 oxygen has a mass of 16 so there are two oxygens carbon dioxide would be 12 plus 16 into 2 which is 12 plus 32 which is equal to 44 grams so according to this balanced chemical equation we are obtaining 44 grams of uh, carbon dioxide according to these measures so what's our question how many moles of methane are required to produce 22 grams of carbon dioxide we know one mole of methane is required to produce how many moles of carbon dioxide 44 so what are we trying to find out how many moles remember whatever is asked that comes on the right hand side so when and we make our equation in such a way to solve it so we have that how many moles of methane now we know 44 one mole of methane produces okay 44 grams of carbon dioxide produces how much methane produces methane is equal to how many moles one mole okay one mole so we say 44 grams of carbon dioxide produces one mole of methane if you had one gram of carbon dioxide of carbon dioxide would produce how much methane it would be one upon 44 is it clear if 44 grams of carbon dioxide is produced by how much methane does not produce methane is produced by is obtained from is obtained from how much methane one more of methane so one gram of uh, carbon dioxide would be obtained from how much of methane one upon 44 because if you are getting 44 grams we'll divide it by 44 and for 22 grams of carbon dioxide how much how many moles of methane would be required for 22 grams for 22 grams of methane for, of carbon dioxide the amount of methane would be required would be 1 upon 44 into 22 so 1 2 which is equal to 0 0.5 moles am i clear so what did we do whatever has to be found out here look at the question what was to be found out the number of moles how many moles of methane so you put the moles on the right hand side and then find it out by this unitary method what will we do the 44 uh, grams of carbon dioxide is obtained from methane uh, and how much of methane one mole of methane so one gram will be obtained from 1.44 and 22 grams will be obtained from 1.44 into 22 so that's how by unitary method we solve all these uh, problems basically of stoichiometry simple mathematical calculations to get according to this ratio if these were the amounts if we changed the amounts what would be the amount obtained sometimes we measure gram to gram sometimes we measure molecules to molecules and sometimes it's number of moles to molecules or grams and so on so this was just the beginning of stoichiometry. Practice as many problems as you can. 
return to my channel for more. In the next video, I'll be doing limiting regions. Thank you for watching.